Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain the uh, method to solve differential equation that is linear equation of order 1. Let's see some examples how to solve linear equations of order 1. Here we have an example. We will see uh, We'll solve this differential equation dy by dx plus y cot x is equal to cosecant x. Clearly it is a linear differential equation. Uh, just uh, recall the just recall the uh, format just recall the uh, standard form of linear differential equation that is uh, dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x or we have other form that is dxy that is dx by dy plus p of y into x is equal to q of y. So we have these two standard form of linear differential equation. Clearly this equation is a linear differential equation. Here we identify the values of p and q the functions p of x and q of x. Compare this uh, given differential equation with the standard form that is dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x. Clearly p of x is equal to cot x, q of x is equal to cosecant x. So we know the integrating uh, factor in this case that is integrating factor is equal to e to the power that is exponential of integral of p dx. Let us find integrating factor in this case. So, integrating factor is nothing but exponential of integral p dx. Here, the value of p is cot x. So, exponential of integral of cot x dx. We know that integral of cot x dx is log uh, sin x. So, we get integrating factor as sin x. So, after uh, getting this integrating factor, we can directly write the general solution. General sol solution of this is given by y into integrating factor is equal to integral of q into integrating factor dx plus integrating constant c. So, the general solution of the given differential equation is y into integrating factor is nothing but sin x. So, y into sin x is equal to integral of q. q is cosecant x. So, integral of cosecant x into sin x that is integrating factor dx plus integrating constant c. c is arbitrary constant. Cosecant x is 1 by sin x. Sin x sin x goes off here. So, we get integral of 1 dx plus integrating constant c. Integral of 1 dx is x. So, we get y sin x is equal to x plus c. So, this is the required solution, general solution of the given differential equation. So, this is how we solve if the given differential equation is linear equation. We solve uh, one more example here. Consider this differential equation x to the power 5 plus 3y dx minus x dy is equal to 0. We know the standard form of linear differential equation that is dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x. So, we need dy by dx here or dx by dy. Here, uh, let us uh, try to write this in the form dy by dx. So, dy by dx, so divide throughout by x, we get x to the power 5 plus 3y by x. Uh, take this dx to the other side. So, we get minus dy by dx. Multiply throughout by minus 1. To write it in the standard form, we get dy by dx. Here, we get minus sign. So, minus x to the power 5 by x. That is minus x to the power 4 minus 3y by x. So, write it in the standard form. Uh, dy by dx plus we need p of x into y. This function of x into y. So, this is the term. 3 by x into y. Take the other term to the other side. That is a function of x to the other side. We get dy by dx minus 3 by x into y is equal to x to the power 4. This is in the standard form. After writing the given differential equation in the standard form, identify the value of p and q. So, clearly 
the value of p of x is minus 3 by x and q is x to the power 4. Our next uh, step is to find integrating factor. We know the value of integrating factor. Integrating factor is given by exponential of in integral of p dx. So, let us find the integrating factor. We know the value of p. So, integrating factor is e to the power or exponential of integral of value of p is minus 3 by x. So, minus 3 by x dx. So, this is nothing but x to the power minus 3 or we can put modulus also. So, the required general solution, general solution is given by y into integrating factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor plus c. Substitute the value of integrating factor. We know the integrating factor here that is x to the power minus 3 or we can put the modulus here. So, the required solution is y into x to the power minus 3 is equal to integral value of q is x to the power 4 into integrating factor is x to the power minus 3 into dx plus c. So, simplify this and integrate here. So, we get y by x to the power 3 or y into x to the power minus 3 is equal to here we have x to the power 4 x to the power minus 3 is 1 by x cube x uh, cube goes off x cube goes off so we get integral here integral x dx plus c integral of x dx is x square by 2 so this is the integral x square by 2 plus c as it is simplify this differential equation this is nothing but y divided by x cube is equal to x square by 2 plus c. So, multiply throughout by 2x cube. That is the denominator. Here we have 2. In the left hand side, we have x cube in the denominator. So, div so multiply throughout by 2x cube, we get here x cube goes off, we get 2y is equal to here 2 we can cancel x square into x cube, x square into x cube that is x power 5 plus here c multiply by 2x cube we get 2c x cube we write 2c as some other constant anyway uh, that is arbitrary constant so we write it as k or we can write 2c itself so k into x cube this is the required general solution of the given differential equation so this is how we solve the differential equation when we know the given differential equation is linear. So, just recall the method. So, first we have to write the given differential equation in the standard form that is dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x or we have other form that is dx by dy plus p of y into x is equal to q of y. In any case, we uh, find the values of p and q. Once we identify the value of p and q, uh, we find the integrating factor. Integrating factor is nothing but exponential of integral p dx or p dy. In the second case, after finding the integrating factor, we can write the general solution. In the first case, general solution is y into integrating factor is equal to q into integrating factor dx plus c or in the other case, the general solution is given by x into integrating factor is equal to integral q of y into integrating factor dy plus c. So, this is how we solve the linear differential equation. So, in this video I have explained the method to solve linear differential equation. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.